Yes, a very good afternoon. You're very welcome to what is a unique on the ball here on WLR where we're looking back at the top sports stories from the 2019 season. It's myself, Gavin Whelan, with you for the next two hours. I hope you can sit back, relax and enjoy this sports special as we reflect on the stories that dominated the 2019 season from GA to soccer, basketball to rugby, horse racing to boxing. We've it all covered in a jam-packed programme and hope you can stay with us from now until two o'clock. Yeah, it's on the GA front. We're going to start and it was a disappointing year for inter-county hurling teams in 2019. The Dacia senior hurlers under new manager Porik Fanning in 2019 started the year positively with some impressive performances in the league. They marched through to the league decider where they took on Munster rivals Limerick in the final in Croke Park. Unfortunately, the Shannon Siders proving too strong on the day and they ran out deserving winners. Waterford then geared up for the start of the Munster Championship as summer hurling and Munster Championship hurling returned to Welsh Park for the first time since 1996. Clare though put a hold to that in the opening round as the banner took two points in the opening game of the campaign. A late Dacia rally not enough as the banner held on for a narrow one point win. Waterford's look ran out in Thurless the following week as Tipperary romped home to victory. They later went on of course to lift the Liam McCarthy Cup. Waterford had Conor Gleeson dismissed on a second yellow card. Tip finishing strongly as Waterford's brave effort came up short. Perhaps the most disappointing performance of the season came on the June Bank Holiday weekend as Waterford were walloped by Limerick in Welsh Park. 2.24 to 10 points. John Kiley's side romping home to victory against a lacklustre and very disappointing Waterford. And the campaign concluded with defeat on Lee side as Cork got the better of Waterford on the 8th of June, bringing a disappointing end to Waterford's inter-county championship hurling season for 2019. Having a chance here again for Simon Mahoney. He scored a point a minute ago and he's got another. And there it is, their full-time whistle has gone. It's two wins in a row now for Cork and Munster. It's Clare next for them in Ennis. But for Waterford, it's a ninth championship match in a row without a win. Final score, Cork 230, Waterford 217. You always get the criticism. You know how they often say to people, the abuse is free in this job at times. Um, so when it's personal, it can be it can be quite hurtful. And I think you know one or two of the one or two were a little bit personal and probably towards you know even one or two players and things that put a lot in. And we all know what goes into it. And I think it's players and, and former players and people they should know what people put into this as well. And that's the one. That's the only thing. It's a bit of balance to it. Yeah, disappointed uh, Waterford manager Porik Fanning speaking after the Cork game in August this year. Porik Fanning and his management team stepped down from their roles as a manager and selectors with the Waterford senior hurlers and of course Liam Cahill of Tipperary, the former Tipperary uh, hurler and of course led Tipperary to All-Ireland minor and under 21 plus under 20 glory in recent seasons including 2019. He's the new man to lead the Dacia forward and hopefully a rejuvenated Dacia for the 2020 season season. Uh, Waterford legend and former All-Star Ken McGrath was speaking after the Cork game on the Sunday game that night and was quite disappointed with another dismal campaign by the Dacia. Yeah, look, it's strange. I suppose you hear people saying last night and today, look, at least the team showed pride and a bit of heart, but that should be a given when you're on the ball for Jersey. Like, I think that's kind of nearly a bit sad that we got bet by 13 points and people are kind of half happy down on Waterford that we showed we, we had a 100% commitment, which the boys did show. Mm. But that should be a given every single day you throw on that jersey, you know. And look, this didn't happen now, and this is not all Porrick's fans' fault by no means. We've won four out of 20 Munster Championship games in the last nine years. If that happened in Tipperary or Cork, there'd be uproar. So why are we any different? Why do we think any less of ourselves than them counties who, with good su- success over, over the years, like, especially Cork, we loved playing Cork before. And you go up and you're kind of getting met by 13 points, and you're kind of like, I don't know where we are. And I just can't uh, see it changing very fast, you know. Uh, We've we're winning very little games on their age. We, we didn't win a game of the minor again this year. I think it's two wins since the last one the other in 2013. Uh, we're under a bit of pressure, big time, and, and something needs to happen. Yeah, there was Ken McGrath talking earlier this uh, season in the aftermath of that Cork game, but I think uh, as a whole now it's onwards and upwards, isn't it, for uh, 2020 Waterford, of course, with two more home games against Cork and Tip, and they'll travel to Limerick and Clare for the Munster Championship in 2020. The league campaign, of course, starts very, very shortly, January 26th, the home tie against Cork, and of course take on Cork on the 29th of December, uh, very shortly, of course, in the uh, Munster 
Munster Senior Hurling League. That is a home game for the Dacia in the opening round of the Munster Senior Hurling League. Liam Cahill is the new manager. Michael Bevins of Tipperary, of course, a highly regarded coach. While two former Waterford captains are Dacia selectors for 2020, namely Stephen Frampton and Stephen Malumphy. So looking forward for what 2020 brings to the table. And speaking at the recent launch, TQS, of course, on board as sponsors for all inter-county hurling and football teams for the Dacia for 2020. Liam Cahill admitted that the players are determined to make amends for poor results over the last two summers. The first thing that jumps out at you here is, is is these players, you know, contrary to what people might have said to me before I came down here or took on the job, these players have a massive desire to play for Waterford and the Waterford public need to know that, that these players are doing everything they can to be the best they can be for the time I've been here anyway and, you know, if that continues they'll give themselves a great chance but the players really, really want to want to up their standards and, and obviously yeah, start winning matches and progress into the latter stages of the championship. Porrick Mahoney will captain the Dacia Hurlers for 2020. Vice captain will be Connor Prunty from Abbey Side. Yeah, an unforgettable night in Fraher Fields as Waterford defeated Clare in the Munster Under-20 uh, Football Championship. It was an unbelievable night and what a great bunch of uh, lads indeed and all the management team as well. It really was uh, brilliant to be part of the setup and uh, an unbelievable experience. Great night in uh, Fraher Field as uh, Clare were beaten. I know things didn't go right against Cork, but uh, look what they did after that, going on to win the All-Ireland title. And early on in the season, on a famous April Wednesday in Fraher Field on Garvin, the Waterford minor footballers picked up their first win. Munster Championship win that is in some six years with an unforgettable a comeback against Clare to defeat the banner by 2-7 to 1-9 including two cracking goals from Bricky Rangers clubman DJ Malay whose two goals turned the tide in favour of Tom Guyrie's side as the Dacia pulled off a famous win unfortunately it wasn't enough to qualify for the phase one final yeah it was one of the best goals I think I've ever scored and what a time to score and a place did you know straight away it was going to the roof of the net uh, no until I hit the net and I heard the uh, the crowd roar then that's when you know at yeah. the back of the net yeah, did you really know you were kind of back in the game at that stage yeah I could feel the whole team lifting up and everything went our way and we got score by score and kept the lead then six points down with 12 minutes to go and the, the big long wait at half time I suppose didn't do any two teams any good like but the lads really dug in for the last 10 minutes and they pulled out some mighty scores there really really, really proud of the lads overall like you know what they've done the two goals that DJ got and uh, Kick some good points there as well. Like you know, and for a lot of the game, things weren't going right for us, but we stuck with the game plan and we kept digging away and it came through in the end. And yeah. you could see the excitement that was on the field there at the very end. Yeah, it was mighty, it. yeah. W-L-R. It's all over! It's all over! We're our county senior football champions for 2019. The 20-year wait is over. It's massive for us, you know what I mean? You saw how, how deep we had to go in that second half. You know, we're nine points up in the first half and they brought it back to two and they were playing with the elements. And, they, like, you know, when you question these lads, you know what I mean, they really dug deep and you see the performance that they gave in the last 20 minutes was, you know, inspiring to all of us, you know. It certainly was indeed. Ballygunner manager Darrow Sullivan as the Gunners blazed a trail through the Waterford Club Senior Hurling Championship once again in 2019. It's six in a row for the Gunners after their county title triumph over De La Salle in Welsh Park. They lifted the News and Star Cup yet again and continued their dominance of club hurling in Waterford. What a phenomenal season. Great campaign in Munster as well. Very nearly pulling off back-to-back Munster Club titles but narrowly losing out to Tipperary champions Boris Lee. There was great success for Ballygunner 
Kelly Sager to her perhaps one of the stories of 2019. They'll be playing senior hurling for the very first time in the club's history in 2020 after defeating Ballygunner to lift the county intermediate hurling title in Welsh Park. An unbelievable day for the small but passionate village of Bally Sagart and St Mary's were crowned the county junior hurling champions. They bridged the 30-year gap by beating Bally Dern. Great campaign as well in Munster, along with Bally Sagart, both reaching provincial finals. Sagart losing out to Cork opposition Fodder O'Neill's, while Mary's defeated Castletown and Carrick Davins to reach the provincial final. But they were beaten on the day by a sharper Russell Rovers side. But overall, an exciting club hurling championship across all levels. Many great battles, many great duels right across the the 2019 season. On the club football front, Rat Gormuk dominated the headlines as the green and red bridged a 20-year gap to lift the Conway Cup for the first time since 1999. A phenomenal achievement by Rat Gormuk who defeated Balnacorti by 2-6 to 1-6 in the final in Farrar Field as captain Michael Curry followed in his father's footsteps by hoisting the Conway Cup. A famous day for the village in Farrar Field. They were beaten by Milton Malbay in Munster but a quitted themselves very well against the Clare champions Rat Gormack going down after extra time but overall a phenomenal effort and a phenomenal year by the men in green and red they were led of course this year by manager and former player oh, Jar Power Oh it was fantastic you know it was great like I mean Jim Carrow and the local farmer there he's, he's a father of Jamie, John and, and Stephen there who are on the, on, the, on the panel he lined up the tractor in the, in the same trailer that we had back in 95 you know and Jim drove up and this, this time we had the, we have the community centre in the village at the moment now which is, which is a fantastic facility and I mean, it was great that we, we drove slowly up through the village and we had a big parade behind and all the children and the older people we met them all up in the community centre and we stayed there we stayed there for about two hours and we had a good time up there together and people got to meet the players and take pictures with them and you know, it was great you know it certainly was indeed. What a phenomenal year they had. Of course, they won the junior uh, B title earlier on in the year as well with victory over goal tier. Two cracking games of football. St. Saviours crowned the county intermediate football champions. We'll be hearing from Tony Corcoran in due course. While Bally Floor were crowned the county junior football champions this year. Incidentally, all three football titles, county titles that is, went to the East this year, which is something you don't, I suppose, see every year. But a great effort going on uh, at both uh, ends of the county. And it really was an exciting season with many great football tussles as well. Conor Murray of Rat Gormack is going to be the captain of the Waterford Senior Footballers in 2020. He played a key role with his club as they lifted Conway and bridged that 20-year gap earlier on this season. The past five, six weeks have been incredible, really. Uh, the build-up to the county final, seeing the flags up around the village, the village was top to toe and red and green. You've seen that yourself when you came up the day of the county final, a few days after it. Um, it's hard to put into words what it meant to so many people around the village. The, the lift it gave everyone. And then up to Milltown Malbay a few weeks, two, we had three weeks after the county final. And again, the support was incredible. I think we did outnumber the, the Milltown supporters in their own, own home field. They certainly did indeed. A phenomenal season and some great games across all club levels as well. Our thanks to everyone for their support, encouragement and cooperation right throughout the season as well. And Camogie and ladies football continuing to rise here in Waterford. A lot of good work going on behind the scenes and credit to all the various associations. We'll have an extensive review and more in-depth analysis on our GA review of the year, which will be coming up with Tomas, a Lorna Porca special on Friday, the 3rd of January. So do indeed put that in your diaries.